The general inflammatory reaction triggered by periodontitis can also affect the regulation of blood sugar, glucose. The high sugar causes the pancreas to produce insulin to reduce blood sugar. Normally, insulin receptors bind to the hormone insulin when it appears in the blood. The binding of insulin to these receptors allows the sugar to be transported into the cells. The sugar contained in the bloodstream after a meal is thus absorbed inside cells where it is processed for energy or storage and the blood sugar level drops. In the presence of generalized inflammation, substances are formed that interfere with this mechanism. They inhibit the binding of insulin and reduce the sugar uptake into the cell. The blood sugar level remains elevated. The inflammatory substances that are formed during periodontitis seem to play a special role. A severe case of periodontitis may cause elevated blood sugar levels even in the absence of diabetes, leading to so-called insulin resistance, a situation in which the body's cells no longer respond to the messengers. If diabetes is already present, periodontitis makes it difficult to control blood sugar levels and increases the risk of late complications of diabetes, such as kidney and heart disease. Conversely, diabetes can contribute to the deterioration of the patient's periodontal status. Here, chemical compounds made of sugar and protein molecules play a role. The sugar in the blood, for example, binds to the hemoglobin in the red blood cells that transport oxygen. The relative amount of the resulting chemical compounds is important for the diagnosis and management of diabetes. If blood sugar levels stay high, other proteins will also start binding the excess sugar. This results in so-called AGEs that promote inflammatory complications such as periodontitis in different ways. For example, AGEs cross-link the fibers of the connective tissue. This makes tissue remodeling more difficult and interferes with wound healing in the oral cavity and elsewhere. AGEs are recognized by the body's cells, such as white blood cells or the cells of the vascular wall. This triggers the formation of messengers tending to cause inflammation. These messengers summon inflammatory cells while disturbing the wound healing process. Both factors accelerate the destruction of periodontal tissues.